itself. We are tracking local jobs tonight. Big changes coming for the people at the top of St. Joseph's Hospital. It'll now share leadership with another Trinity Health-owned facility, St. Peter's Hospital in Albany. News 10 Line's Andrew Donovan broke the story this afternoon. Andrew, what is this move going to mean for patients? Well, Jeff, it should be seamless. At least that's what the company thinks will happen in the weeks to come. But some people are skeptical, especially the employees who were told just today about these changes taking effect Friday. News Channel 9 obtained the email sent to hospital employees detailing the creation of one regional ministry. It reads, combining the strength of St. Peter's Health Partners in Albany and St. Joseph's Health in Syracuse, we will benefit from synergies, clinical coordination of care for our patients and communities, and create a more efficient, cost-effective, and integrated health system. Owner of both, Trinity Health, blames the pandemic. The corporate executive writes, the negative impact and lasting effects are much greater than anyone imagined. Financial documents released in May admit to expense growth outpacing revenue growth for the overall company, especially at the end of 2021 when coronavirus levels set records. When, quote, contract labor costs rose to unprecedented levels, requiring, quote, continued cost reduction. The CEO of St. Peter's in Albany will lead the regional to hospital entity. Leslie Paul Luke, St. Joseph's CEO, will voluntarily leave the organization. Meredith Price, St. Joseph's current CFO, will become the highest ranking person in Syracuse as Senior Vice President of Hospital Operations. As a result of the consolidation, Deborah Welch, a Vice President, will be laid off. But some remaining executives at St. Joe's will get promotions and oversee similar departments in Albany from Syracuse, like Dr. Philip Falcone, the current uh, chief medical officer, who will become chief clinical officer for both facilities. Leaders today suggested no other layoffs are planned, but the company did say that should those happen in the future, the people impacted would be notified first. In a statement late today, from the parent company, it said that St. Joseph's Hospital will not lose its signature name that people have known for so many years. Live in Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.